six reports and six missing chocobo checks. Well, at least the numbers seem to match up. Please help me! I need you to find my six friends! She really seems to think that she used to be a chocobo. The question is, do you believe her? No, Hope. I don't. It's absurd, I agree. Then why volunteer to help? I feel sorry for her. Seems like something's troubling you. What? Are you like a mind reader or something? Are you a witch? How could you tell? How could you tell? I could hear you talking to yourself. Oh, you mean I said all of that out loud? I don't like bothering people with my problems. I usually bottle it up. I guess it slipped out. Why don't you try sharing with me? It might make you feel better, and maybe I can help. You wouldn't mind? Well, as long as you keep it a secret. You're friends with the Baton Girl, right? I'm talking about the Divine Candace, of course. The thing is, I've been a huge fan of hers since way before she became as popular as she is now. Watching her twirl that baton with a big smile on her face, it fills my heart with cheer. The simple fact is, I adore her. I'm totally smitten, and I've decided to confess my love. Any day now. So, why not today? Because she might turn me down. Or even worse, think I'm a creep. Then I couldn't sit here and watch her anymore. That would be awful. But I've got to do something. I can't go on living like this. So I've come up with a plan. I'm going to give her a present. That's what guys do, right? Give presents to the girl they like? She's obviously into fashion, so I'm going to give her an adornment. You know, something trendy she'd like. Sounds like a good plan. What are you waiting for? Go get her the present. I, I want to. But the adornment I want is so popular that you have to be at the shop right when it opens so you can nab one before they sell out. But I always have to work then, and I can't afford to take time off. <sighs> if only I could get that present, I would totally go up to her. I'll go and buy it for you. you. You will? Thanks. If you did, I could talk to Candace. Here's the flyer from the shop. It has all the details you need. Oh, and don't forget to get it wrapped. There's a ribbon and everything. Light, you're being unusually kind to these two. Are you saying I'm usually not kind to people? I'm not sure what it is. There's just something about them that makes me want them to get together. In that case, the right present should do the trick, I'd say. And I don't think he'll act without one. Listen to you. All of a sudden, you're an expert on love? I haven't seen this side of you before, Hope. Hmm. I must know these things for a reason. Perhaps more memories that God has suppressed. Anyway, back to your quest. It looks like the adornment Tomessa wants is sold by a shop in the Champion's Quarter. It sells out fast, so you should aim to be there right when the shop opens. Got it? The Order's Quarter is a mess. Aha! Uh -huh. Was this little one waiting on you? Because he's been here a very long time. I only know because I've been sitting here for ages as well. The fool I call my boyfriend is late again. You found the first chocobo chick. If you're looking for the current top-selling adornment, we have a new shipment coming in, which arrives tomorrow.
I concoct four to five. Cheering for you, monsters! I hope to compete one day. I'd love to meet the combatants. There! Yeah. Fight for your pride. I hope I get a value. Even though the show's been canceled. Delicious doesn't even begin to describe his recipes. I mean, they're totally divine. Oh, you're here for another visit. I tell you, having this shop is like a dream come true. I won't forget how much I owe you. Even if this world is drowned in darkness, my fireworks will still show everyone the light. If I fill the skies of this world, boom, 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 then that chaos won't be nothing to fear. Seriously? You'll take the chocobo off my hands? What a relief. I found him stuck inside one of the luggage carts. I read every regulation, but there wasn't a single mention of chocobo chicks. But now I can report in the logbook that the lost animal was claimed by its owner. Case closed. Go on, he's all yours. You got two. Now to find the other four. Good luck. to you in case you didn't know he's been here for a while well you're safe now mommy's here <laughs> I bet you can't wait to go home you oh does this chocobo belong to you my parents found her but I don't know where brought her home and said they were gonna grill her with salt so I rescued her before they could but if you're the real owner then you should have her it's only right That's 
four of them. Only two to go. Why, don't tell me your pocket was picked, despite my warnings. Yeah, just like a damn tourist. It was a kid, and he knew what he was doing. A young boy, was it? Huh. Then he's still up to his old tricks. I know the lad, and his is a sorry tale. Not likely to hear a sadder one in all of Yusnan. If I compensated you, would you be so good as to forget this happened? You're sure it was this kid? Yes, it could be none other than the orphan boy Pickett. Then maybe he should be punished. He needs to learn that stealing is wrong. You see, the poor boy has lost both of his parents. Have you no sympathy at all? I've got plenty. He's not the first person in this world to lose someone they love. Have you... Uh, have you lost family too? Maybe. You have, haven't you? I can tell. Then you can help the boy. Someone like you will be able to reach out to him. I need you to give him this letter. It's from his father, who gave it to me for safekeeping. It's the only thing he left his son. I'll do it, but I don't see why you can't give it to him yourself. How did you know his father anyway? We were both hunters who tracked ferocious monsters. But then Pickett's father was killed, and his death was my fault. And so, he refuses to accept the letter from my hands. Please, won't you give Pickett the letter from his father? It may help him end his criminal ways and get his life back on track. I'm not gonna make you give back what you stole. It belongs to you anyway. Did you notice? Huh? What is it? A letter? And it's addressed to me? Oh yeah? Huh. It's from my old man. What am I supposed to do with this? Why are you asking me? It's yours now. Throw it away for all I care. Damn right I'll throw it away. And I don't need your permission either. Listen, I'm not gonna pretend I understand. It must be hard for you, losing your parents, then being trapped in a child's body for centuries and centuries all alone. That's right! You can't understand! No one can! Let me tell you something. I lost my parents, but it wasn't the same. I still had my sister. I wasn't left all on my own. I was luckier than you. So, your parents are dead too? Yeah. It happened a long time ago, but I remember being really angry. 
people pitied me, treated me like a helpless child. I couldn't stand it. So I pushed people away and built walls around me. But I still had my sister. She understood me. It's not fair. I didn't have anyone. I was left all alone. I know. If it were me, I couldn't have done what you did. You're a lot stronger than I am. You've done an amazing thing, going through that and surviving all these years. You should be proud of yourself. I should? I've never felt proud about anything. But when you put it like that, maybe I should be proud. This little fella is lost? You don't say. Well, if you have to take him back to his friends, it can't be helped. I'm gonna miss him, though. That's five chicks. You only need one more.
I wonder if she still thinks of me from time to time. You brought me some seeds, hmm? A deal's a deal. You're a lifesaver. Here. You're a lifesaver. Here. Again, Savior? Uh, not by choice. Oh, excuse me. I had no idea. You are so subtle. Just one hint, though. Go see that Chocoboco chick. She asked you to save Saz, didn't she? It's no wonder. She can't help worrying about him. So, how do they know each other? Oh, and here I just assumed you knew. Well, I guess you'll understand when you get all the soul fragments. Didn't she tell you that she'd run straight to Sass's place when that happens? Light, you've got all five soul fragments you needed to find for Dodge. You should head to Sass's place at once. I'd like to think this'll help Dodge. But this is Lumina we're talking about. It may be best not to get your hopes up. But for Sass... This is his last and only hope. He can't even smile anymore. He's got nothing left in him. If I take this away too, he may not survive. I don't know if I could take that. Are you taking the train?
Gordon Gourmet has started cooking. See, these is rated five stars by Gordon Gourmet. Light, it's almost time to transport you back to the Ark, to recalibrate the time distortion. You have half an hour until you'll be transported back to the Ark. There you are. Welcome home. What's wrong? Nothing. Just things on my mind. Don't worry about it. I can't help but worry. We're finally getting the chance to talk, but you don't seem happy. It's like you don't even know how to smile anymore. Right now, this is the best I can do. Not that I was ever good at it. It's okay. I can make you smile again. You just have to go back to the days when the future still looked bright. When was that? Back before.
before we made all those mistakes. Before we started messing around with gods and fell sea. We thought it was our destiny to fight for the world and the future. But all those battles, all those struggles, they didn't mean anything in the end. Was it all a mistake? Even the journey you went on with Mel? Well, what else would you call it? We risked everything, but in the end we couldn't save the future and I died. If that's not a mistake, what is? That's why I have to get rid of it. Throw it all away. It didn't mean a thing. It's done and gone. No regrets, just a clean slate. We're going to have a new world, and you and I will be just like we used to be way back when. Listen, Sarah. Let me say this. If that journey was a mistake, I'm the one who has to bear the blame. Because I sent you. It's me who has to pay the price. All you did was try your best. There's nothing wrong with that. It didn't turn out like I'd hoped, but it wasn't a mistake. You tried to do something that was good and right. You must never throw that away. Maybe. But I... I don't want to remember it again. I just want to forget it all. Right. When she said that, I didn't believe her. She'd always been able to accept hardship, fight through it, and be stronger for it. Lumina's words came back to me. She said the only fake I know is Sarah. No, that couldn't be right. The problem was in me, making me doubt her. But it was no good. The terrible thought had formed in my mind. The seed was planted. What if this Sarah was fake? And my memories of her too. Give us a reprieve so that I can save more souls. Nice work, Light. Samog was alive after all. And he's been living together with the other Moogles. I'm really happy for him. That wasn't very nice, now was it? What you did to poor Mog? It looked like it hurt. I couldn't help it. I just reacted out of instinct. I don't go in for people hugging me or Moogles, even if I'm glad to see them. I think you actually enjoyed the hug. You just lashed out to cover your embarrassment. Am I right? Hope, you better drop it. You're treading on dangerous ground now. I saw her again. My sister. It looks like God might keep his promise and bring my sister back. She'll be a new Sarah. New? What do you mean by that? Are you saying that when he resurrects Sarah, it will be a different person? Like, a fake? No, that's not it at all. I just mean, if she's going to be born again, she'll be a new version of her old self. I don't think you're being straight with me, are you? You don't think the Sarah you met is the real thing, do you? You think that there's something missing? It's alright. You don't have to say anything. The truth is plain enough to see. Since I came here, I haven't been good at reading people, but I've been practicing on you. But don't worry, I'm on your side. Yours and Sarah's. 
You know that, right? You only agreed to become the savior because it was your only chance to save Sarah. And that means God has a hold on you. But if the Sarah he's showing you isn't real, then that control he has disappears. He has no hostage.